Hi everyone, my name is Angelique and I am with Springwater Libraries as their summer program coordinator. I am beyond excited to be here today to welcome you all to our summer story time with, guess who? Our MPP, Doug Downey. So welcome, Doug. Today, we will be reading The Tiny Baker by Haley Barrett and Allison J. We are able to read The Tiny Baker today. Thank you to Barefoot Books. So thank you, Barefoot Books. But I thought that before we begin our story time, we could take a minute and shake out our sillies. Our first song, it's called The Itsy Bitsy Spider. So let's give it a go. The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. The sun came out and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider crawled up the spout again. Great job, everyone. So our second song is called I'm a Little Ladybug. And it's to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. All right, I think you can all give it a go, though it may be new for some of you. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little ladybug, red and black, with the tiny spots all over my back. I fly around the garden and land upon a rose, and then the grass, and then your nose. <laughs> Good job, guys. Well, I think that that's shaken out all of our sillies. But if it hasn't, give a quick little shake. All right, all right, all right, you got it. And now take a seat, and I'm going to pass it over to MPP Doug Downey. Take it away, Doug. Hi, I'm Doug Downey, MPP for Barry Springwater or Medante, and I'm going to read The Tiny Baker. The Tiny Baker offers sweets, a chalkboard list of daily treats, puff pastry, custard, caramel, to tempt her tea room's clientele. Her customers line up in rows, a tenna wave, well-bred hellos. They're always elegantly dressed, silk gowns or trousers neatly pressed. They wait to try her lemon tarts, her sugar-sprinkled cookie hearts, to sample her pecan pralines and nibble lacy florentines. Before the baker opens up, she straightens out a china cup, confirms the pantry is pristine, each surface burnished to a sheen. Her spotty squad is all astir, their whisks are whisking, mixers whir, just as the clock begins to chime, her door swings open right on time. The baker bows to greet them all, then ushers ants, the tall and small. Straight to her tea room's pretty chairs, she mentions her sublime eclairs, and offers them pink lemonade or a rosehip iced tea, freshly made. But in the kitchen, trouble brews, a fragrant breeze brings flighty news. The urgent call to swarm away, prepare for takeoff, no delay. The baker, meanwhile, beams with pride, congrats relations a groom and bride then pats an antling on the head and goes to check her gingerbread she bustles through the kitchen door to find it in a complete uproar disaster struck while she was out a cataclysmic turnabout her pastry chefs have flown the coop one red enormous dotty troop they ditched their frostings dumped their pies forsook their candy butterflies the oven smoking kettle glows the souffle batter overflows, dark chocolate drips from ceiling fans and drizzles onto pots and pans. A sudden noise, ba ba boom, reverberates around the room. The ice cream maker has exploded, as some might say, get a la mode. A teacup platters to the floor as ants rush through the kitchen door to see her slumped amidst the mess, bewildered, flummoxed in distress, while sugar drifts the softest snow atop her puffy hat below. Cricket sounds the call to action, setting off an ant reaction to do what ants do very best. They work together without rest, to clean, to move, to clear, to mend, to help their tiny baker friend. They dust her off and stand her up, pour her a piping ant-sized cup. When all is right, they sit back down, retrieve their hat or smooth their gown, and sip their sweet rose hip iced tea while Cricket chirps his melody. The tiny baker blinks her eyes, she shakes her head in stunned surprise. A half a minute passed no more, the kitchen gleams just like before. 
No chocolate drips, no sugar snow, no scorching kettle, all aglow. No souffle mess, no a la mode, no traces of the episode. For me, she dabs a tiny tear. For you, they say, of course, my dear. You're our delightful baker chum, and tea time treats aren't why we come. Though they're delicious, we agree. It's you we're truly here to see. Blushing, the baker lifts a baker tray. Sweet friends, your efforts save the day. I hope you all adore Claire's. My treat and thank you, she declares. Her polished guests nod in accord, their tranquil tea time now restored. Each night before she goes to sleep, the baker counts, not woolly sheep, but friends, true friends who care enough to pitch right in when things get tough.